welcome to my channel. Today's video is kind of exciting. Well, I think it's exciting. I guess it depends on if you think skincare is exciting. So I have a dupe video today. I'm going to be comparing the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, which is like, a, it's huge. It's huge. People <laughs> love the Milky Jelly Cleanser and Bliss just came out with their Makeup Melt Cleanser. That's a jelly cleanser with rose water too. So I picked this one up. It is cheaper, but I figured I would do a comparison of ingredients, cost per ounce, and the claims that they make for each one. And then I'll also go through, cause I have used both. Like I've been using the Bliss one for a couple days now. So I have a few thoughts on it. And <laughs> if you wanna hear if these are a true dupe, then just keep watching. All right, so let's get into this. I've got my investigator glasses on. Sorry about the glare. I don't know how to get rid of it because it's just from my windows, but if I don't wear them, I'll get a migraine, so. Yeah, just gonna have to deal with it. So to start off, I just wanna go through the cost because I feel like that's one of the biggest factors in purchasing something. So per ounce, I've calculated the Milky Jelly Cleanser. It runs $18 for six fluid ounces. So per ounce, it's $3. And then the Makeup Melt is 6.4 fluid ounces. And if you get it from Ulta or the Bliss website, it's $12, but if you get it from Target, it's only $10. So say you get it from Ulta for full price, then you're gonna be paying $1.875 per fluid ounce, but if you get it from Target, it's only $1.5625 to be exact. That's <laughs> To round it, it's $1.6 per ounce. So the Makeup Melt by Bliss is actually about half the cost of the Milky Jelly. So if you're looking purely for cost, you can't really beat it. That is a huge dupe in my book. And then the next most important thing that I think is their claims, right? So like to see if they even claim to be kind of similar things. So to start off with the Glossier Milky Jelly. So it is a conditioning facial cleanser. Glossier says that you can use it on dry or wet skin. If you put it on dry skin, it will dissolve makeup and grime or wet skin to cleanse. And I'm reading this off their website. They claim that it's a pH balanced creamy gel formula made of a blend of five skin conditioners so your face is left feeling healthy and soft and never tight. Its cleansing power comes from the same gentle cleaning agents found in contact, contact lens solution. So it's tough on impurities and still safe to use on your eyes. And they say that its key ingredients are a peloximer, which is a strong yet mild cleansing agent. That's the one that's in contact lens solutions. They replaced a fourth of the water content with rose water and they have comfrey root extract, which contains elantoin. It's supposed to heal dry or stressed skin. A quaxil refills squint. <laughs> I can't speak. Skins, water, reserves, and improves its barrier to prevent dehydration. And then it also has pro vitamin B5, which is a powerful natural moisturizer found in mushrooms and cheese. So that's what they say on their website. And they claim that it's hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, safe for the eye area. It's ophthalmologist tested, appropriate for all skin types, soap free, paraben free, sulfate free, cruelty free, and non comedogenic and vegan. So that was a lot, but I'm gonna go to the Bliss Makeup Melt Cleanser and I'm reading from their website again. So it does say that this is for all skin types as well. Sorry, my dog just came in my room. That's what you heard <laughs> jingling over there. So it's a dry and wet gentle jelly cleanser with rose flower so sounds pretty similar to me they say that this is a universal cleanser and I make a remover with soothing rose flower that is super gentle yet amazingly effective even for the most sensitive skin it's a unique milky jelly form that balances gentleness with effective cleansing I don't know about unique but that's what they say. They say it easily dissolves makeup and they suggest using it on a cotton ball on dry skin, but I will say I've just been using it like the Glossier one with just my hands and it seems to remove my makeup just the same. And it says that it gently removes dirt, grime, makeup, and impurities on wet skin. So it leaves your skin perfectly balanced, silky, soft, soothed, and nourished. And then its key ingredients are rose flower extract, which they say provides astringent and soothing benefits, hydrating 
blend with xylitol. It's a combination of vegetable derived moisturizers, pro vitamin B5, which is also in the glossy milky jelly. It seals in hydration by boosting the skin barrier. Um, Shea Betaine is a mild cleansing agent. It has apple amino acids. They're natural surfactants that gently cleanse eyes and skin. Um, and then they also have oat amino acids. And those are gentle soothers that help add moisture and protect the skin. And the Bliss Makeup Melt is also cruelty free. It's paraben free, phthalate free, sulfate, SLS, SLES, um, petroleum mineral oil and like a bunch of other things free including like cruelty free and all that stuff so they're pretty similar in terms of like good ingredients cruelty free and the claims that they make are generally they seem to me pretty similar. And then I do have a list of, I compared the ingredients and I'll put it up like right here. I'll put the Bliss one right here, the list, and then I'll put the Glossier one down here. And you can see that the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser has less ingredients, but they do have a lot of overlap. I've highlighted all of the same ingredients in the same color for each one. So like for instance, water is in both and it's highlighted in blue so I'll leave this here for a bit and you can look at it but a lot of the ingredients are very like they share a lot of the same ingredients but the makeup melt from bliss just has a bit more and it also has a bit more hydrating ingredients like it has some oils and shea butters and other things that will help to actually like put moisture into your skin I guess the biggest difference that I noticed is the Glossier first two ingredients are first water and then rose flower water but the makeup melt is water and then the second ingredient is glycerin and the problem with glycerin that I find is if it's in skincare glycerin acts as a um, I don't remember what the word is but it if your skin is dry and the air is moist it'll pull the moisture from the air into your skin but if the air is drier then if the air is dry right <laughs> it's gonna pull the moisture from your skin into the air. So it can be a problem if you live in a very dry place. I've noticed that things with glycerin don't always help my skin because I live in a dry place, but because this isn't gonna be sitting on your skin, I don't really think that it's a big problem if you have dry skin. It just will make it so that it's very gentle on your skin, similar to the rose flower water. I think. I'm not a chemist. I don't know. I just know kind of the basics of the ingredients. I do, as a last point, I want to point out that the Bliss Makeup Melt has tocopherol, but the Milky Jelly doesn't. So as far as I know, the Milky Jelly Cleanser is gluten-free. As far as I know, I like if you're gluten-free celiac, make sure to do your own research on it. But I have like looked into the ingredients for my own sake because I'm gluten-free and there's no gluten byproducts, I guess, like amino wheat amino acids or tocopherol. And tocopherol is vitamin E, but it can be derived from wheat. So if you're celiac and really, really sensitive you may not be able to use the bliss so I just want to make that point because you don't want to get poisoned so so the scent of the makeup melt they say is lavender but I'm not it's it's very very faint lavender I'm not 100% the milky jelly the glossy milky jelly just smells kind of like normal soap it doesn't really have a scent but the makeup melt definitely has a bit more of a essential oil smell to it if you have ever smelled lavender essential oil that's kind of what it smells like on the back of my hand I have this is the make bliss makeup melt and then that is the glossy and milky jelly so the makeup melt is way thinner like you can see I don't know if you can tell, right? But the Glossier Milky Gel Jelly Cleanser is a way thicker formula. So in terms of removing makeup, I actually think that the Glossier is better. Like I find that it removes my makeup better the first time around, if that makes sense. And it leaves my skin feeling cleaner. My skin still feels clean with the Bliss Makeup Melt, but it feels kind of like there's a residue left on it. And I think that's from the glycerin. So I always feel like I have to go in with a toner afterwards or double cleanse but if you double cleanse or use a toner anyway it might make sense to try out 
the Bliss. I mean, it is cheaper. If it does what you need, then I think that it's a really good deal. And it is good for sensitive skin. It hasn't made me break out yet. And generally I'll break out <laughs> within like the first day of using a new product if it's gonna bother me. I think they're good dupes, but are they exactly the same? No. I think it's up to you guys to decide. But I wanted to get this review up just for anyone out there that might be looking to restock their Milky Jelly Cleanser from Glossier. I hope this review was helpful. Let me know what you guys think. If you're going to be trying out the Bliss Makeup Melt, I'd love to hear your thoughts on if you guys think it's a dupe or not. I'll leave a thing right here that you can click on to subscribe and then I'll put a little thing right here. That's my review playlist. Click on that and you can watch. I'm not sure how many other reviews I have. Might just be one. But yeah, click on it and watch the other review. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.